later on it started getting bad for the Jews because when the Germans came in for a while they start taking a bit of people to work the young people they used to just not in camps they used to they came and they used to say well we want so many uh, we want 20 men or 20 girls they want to go and work so they came and they came home at night so they you know uh, used Did to go in the factories and wherever they needed them and they and they released them and then slowly slowly it, it got worse and worse so we lived all ends and we lived all together in the apartment from my grandfather my grandfather was with us at the time together and uh, we didn't have enough food we had to have special coupons for a little food and sometimes i and my sister went to the villages and uh, at that time we had to have also the white uh, bent on the hand with the Jewish star, uh, what was blue. So we took it off and we went to the peasants, what they knew us as children, and they baked bread home and they had little potatoes. So even they didn't have too much to, it was wartime, but they shared with us. They felt sorry for us, so they gave us. And this was a big thing to bring home a little potato or to bring a little bread home. And... Uh, so it was very hard at that time. And I was working also for the German people. I had to clean the houses where the police was. I had to go in fields to work for them. And uh, we were restricted. We couldn't go out from the houses after six, seven o'clock. They, they took away the fur coats from our uh, family and the leather packet books all uh, things they took away from us. And uh, it was very hard at that time to make a little living for something. My mother used to go to Sosnopis and she bought a little textile. She put on her belly and because Jewish people weren't permitted to bring something and she was selling it to the peasant people. So she should be able to make some money earnings for us. And from the house, the things like we had silver or bed clothing or the table clothes, nice. She gave also to the Christian people. They should hide for her this because the Germans are taking everything away from us. So she tried what she uh, could to help herself. So these times were very hard. We came in like into a ghetto. They called this a ghetto. What city was that? In Trebinia. And they made us wear the Juden, the Juden arm band, the David, the star Juden Sterne, Juden Sterne. Yellow star. Yellow star, right. And um, immediately we had, we had our curfew time. We were allowed to walk out of the streets at 7 o'clock in the morning till 6 o'clock in the evening. What was in your mind at the time? You're like, why are they doing this? Uh, we were, what were you thinking? We were I mean, thinking you had a peaceful life and quiet, and all of a sudden they, they came All of a sudden, I, we, we felt what like we, we became prisoners. You, had, you couldn't we became, understand we, why? No. And we never thought and never dreamed of that one day is going to be a solution to get rid of all the Jews. We couldn't. We, it, it was very hard to comprehend it. Finally, when we came into that ghetto, the, the rations of the, of the food was the minimum, and it was absolutely hard to live on it. Where were you living? They assigned you a room? They signed, they signed us an apartment, apartment of three rooms, three rooms and one kitchen, and we had our family of 10, and we had other family or four living together. The circumstances were very, very ugly, but somehow we managed. 